Hi friends, today I am going to teach you for loop in Java programming how to add given n numbers or n integers using for loop suppose I have given n as 5 then how you are going to find the sum of n integer numbers so start with 1 2 3 4 and 5 so the answer is uh, 1 plus 2 3 3 6 and 10 and then 15 so you have to get the answer or the output as 15 so if the n is given as 10 then you have to add all the numbers starting from okay one minute yes so whatever the answer you're going to get is the uh, answer for the output of this current program so let us see how to execute this program now I'm going to give here sum of the program name double click and open the editor so this is a java editor control a and clear the whole program which was written now you are going to start from the scratch import java dot i vote dot star uh, here i am going to use util not i will i'll tell you why this is required later put semicolon then give the class name as sum of n numbers then open the plan bracket now write public static void main so we are starting the main program now inside the main program give scanner so scanner is uh, used for scanning the value of n from the user so this is the syntax to define a scanner in your program it's a bit lengthier but you have to learn it so here sc is the variable which uh, we are going to use as a scanner variable to scan the output or the, sorry, the input from the output screen. So now I am going to ask the user to input the value of n. So how do you ask? Enter the value of yeah and close up a small bracket now I have to use SC which I have declared here SC so before that I have to declare a variable int n equal to SC dot so since it is an integer variable I have to give next int suppose it is a double variable then I have to give here double so the for I should be capital if you are using double then D should be capital the syntax for Java is case sensitive so if I am using S capital here you have to use S capital only and here also S is capital 
and wherever I am using small letters, use small letters and SC can be a variable so you can give either small or big if you give a big letter then use here also both the uh, both the letters as you give uh, as you have given here okay so i declared n and also i scanned the value of n so that is done now i am op before, before opening the for loop i have to initialize sum to zero so initially sum value is zero so now i'm going to open the for loop i value takes up the value takes up initially one and then it goes up to the value of n and then this is incrementing so for loop is taking the value the value of i taking uh, the initial value of i is 1 and it goes on incrementing from 1 to n and each time it increments by 1 so i plus plus is going to increment the value of i by 1 every time it goes into the loop and once it reaches the value of n it completes the for loop and comes out of it so sum equal to sum plus i so we are going to add the value of i to the sum each time it is in the for loop so whenever now for for example show you here so in the for loop i takes up the value 1 then sum is equal to sum plus i so the initial value of sum is 0 and i is 1 so the answer in the first iteration of the loop is 1 so sum is 1 after this the sum is going to take the value 1 and when next loop the i is incremented by 2 incremented by 1 and it takes up the value 2 so now sum is going to take sum plus i the previous value of sum is 1 so it is going to add 1 to the current value of i so which is 2 equal to 3 so now the sum is equal to 3 now again the i takes the value 3 now sum is going to be the previous value of sum that is uh, 3 so let us take n as 5 here and now uh, it has the i goes on taking the value 1 2 3 4 until it reaches the value 5 so the previous value of sum is taken here so that is 3 plus the value of i which is 3 again so it is going to be 6 now again the i takes the value 4 and then sum is going to be the previous value of sum which is 6 and uh, the current value of i which is 4 10 now i is going to take the value 5 now sum is the previous value is 10 the current value of i is 5 so 15 and when i takes the value 6 the loop stops and bring the output hope you understood what i've written here given a uh, big font you can see here so i is incremented by 1 to 5 each time it is taking the value 1 greater than the previous value and that value is added to sum and sum is going to increment by from the previous value is added to the i value and the current sum will be incremented by one uh, the according to the formula actually it is going to increment by 
or it is going to take up a new value according to the formula so this our formula here you should remember sum is equal to sum plus i so once it comes to i is equal to 6 it stops the loop and prints the output so let us do that so now i have to print the output system dot out dot print ln the sum of sum of n n should be written outside because it's a value which i'm going to print and whatever comes inside the double quotes are the statements and whatever is not included in the double quotes is a variable so you know that n is a variable so the variable should not be included within the double quotes now again the sum is also a variable should be outside the double quotes and here plus is used to concatenate or join the statement uh, with the variable so it is done now close me and close the class and now i will compile the program ok there is an error saying that i am not in, uh, defined i so now i define the i now no syntax error you can see so suppose you miss a semicolon here so there will be a error in this line you can see so yeah you shouldn't miss the semicolon and you have to also see here the for loop will never have a semicolon in case if i give a semicolon you can see there will be an error in the next line see exactly it will not show you where the error is so you have to figure out where what is the problem or the uh, mistake you have done in the program and you have to correct it on yourself it will not say that you have put a semicolon for a for loop so the errors are not uh, very uh, going to give you the exact mistake what you have done so you have to figure out the mistake and change it according to accordingly so i'm changing it here now suppose here i've written s in capital in case if i write it small as i told you it is a case sensitive so it's giving the error immediately saying that it cannot the underline shows that it is not uh, the package system does not exist so if i give capital letter it is not giving that error so it is a case sensitive programming language so if you are using a small letter in the place of a big letter then it is going to throw the error so keep this in your mind now let me run this program go to void main so it's asking you to input the value so i'm going to input 5 you can say it is giving the answer as 15 which we have calculated it already here and also here hope you understood suppose if i give some other number i'll give uh, 10 which we di didn't calculate so 10 it's giving 55 you can calculate it manually and see whether 55 is correct or not hope you understood this program and don't forget to subscribe my channel Thank you. Have a nice day.